Welcome to the internet. The power of the internet. <sighs> so what's in our mail? I mean, we just... We just repaired the fabric of the universe. Surely there must be something to read. So you just got a better version of the game? Oh uh, yeah, there was a... Yeah, there were other versions of the ISO that did not have the uh, damage that caused the crash last time. I see. And thanks to our information, we were able to, the uh, Japan police force was able to arrest Daisato. Oh, so now we get paid. Alright, we we did the sensible thing of sending an anonymous tip rather than being like, Hello, I... <laughs> noted terrorist... <laughs> All right, 300 bucks. That's that's not terrible. They'll just pay Palace these 300 bucks for helping them catch a criminal. Good times. And, uh, God, I wish. I would quit my job in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, Wulong. Yeah, just Wait, no. Everything. Yeah, we already saw that. So oh, I thought... Oh, I thought they were called Centipede, because that's what their website is. Well, they're, they're Wulong Centipede. Or maybe th that word also means that, I don't... In which case, the future space currency of Cowboy Bebop would itself be yeah. centipedes. <laughs> which... <laughs> I would I would keep a bank account full of centipedes. Yeah. He's plopped down a fistful of centipedes on the bar and watches <laughs> they all crawl away. Ah, oh, damn it, no! <laughs> Always guard your assets. <laughs> yeah, what's the... So, um, we were taking a specific... Were we trying to take a specific path last time? Uh, we had already done the branching path, and we're now back on a nice deterministic road deeper into Taiwan. Right, we need to get to the tunnel. I thought we were at the tunnel when we were at the dam, but we're not. Yep, over to this village. I don't know why we have to decimate Taiwan before we can access the tunnel to the DHZ, but whatever. I don't really get what our... Every mission that never quite adds up. I think that's the yeah. design goal, really. I just don't get what our plan is and why we're doing this three-pronged strike attack thing. Active war! Okay, the president approves! <laughs> I guess. Surely this has gone up and down a chain of command by now. Enemies! Okay, so did we get to take a look at this this map? Uh, no, we don't get to fish around before deciding who goes where. Which I feel is really to the detriment of the design of this game, especially since you're allowed to, like, fine-tune your defense modules and such before going in. It would really make more sense if you were allowed to sort all yeah. that out. Well, I still think impact defense is a good idea because yeah. they seem to mainly use shotguns. Yep, we uh, have all our new modules on Dennis that we can charge up for use. Everyone still has a healthy supply of AP. Dennis is kind of lagging behind, but yeah, well... I, I feel like by out. the end of the game, we'll be uh, foregoing some of our upgrades Eventually, for extra AP. Yeah, once we are able to specialize in particular things for each mission. <clears throat> and we're gonna have to at some point get around to uh, renaming each of these machines since they are very much no longer what their default names said they are yeah uh chat come up with machines for uh names for each of the machines chat name Please. the robots name the robots for each character and holy shit look at that glide distance yup I can skate forever Yes, you can. You can skate right up into the enemy's face, which is probably not a good idea, but you can. Let's see. Shotgunner, shotgunner, punch bot, and there are only three enemies on this map, which leaves me highly suspicious that this is a trap. Mm-hmm. 
There's gonna be some kind of reinforcement. Wait, trigger. what are those things in the field? Are they hiding? Are they hiding bots? There are hay bales here. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how uh, this looks. Maybe not his piles of some kind of vegetation. Whatever's being farmed in this, there's piles of it. There's piles uh, of something. All right. Let's, let's approach cautiously. Piles of robot. Actually, as close as I can get, Dennis. Goddamn trees in the way. <coughs> oh well, fifty hardy. Take it. If, fifty fifty. Zoom will give us what, like seventy five. Yep. Even when it rocks. Such as life. Zane, this is front mission three, which, in my opinion, is probably the best one. So far, yeah, it's been uh, pretty great. Four is good. Don't get me wrong. Four has the advantage of just being graphically nicer. If I had the opportunity to play all of two, I think it would be able to compete with this. <laughs> but well, two had a lot of like unnecessary battle movements, which really slowed down the game. Yes. But uh, I mean, four was cool because the link system was really awesome. Uh, I, I'm pretty certain that I beat four. Yeah, definitely. I don't think I like the uh, the story as much in four, but I don't remember it that well, so I can't really say. Oh, good, two two shotgunners with anti-impact armor. It is time for a nerf battle. So who? So which suit is stronger, basically? It appears we are near evenly matched. Yeah, that's that's not unexpected. Mm -hmm. just have to However, fun tipping the odds. we have a piercing, so. Uh, the old uh, everything piercing. I forget rifles are piercing too, right? Yep. Okay. Both Dennis and Ryogo are equipped with piercing damage. There we go. His accuracy was quite low, though. Ah, uh, no, that's good. That's good. We'll take it. Mm -hmm. Solid opening move. Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. I see you already have my card. This is my this is my machine gun. This is also my machine gun. <laughs> this is Mr. Machine Gun. He is also a machine gun. Yes. We should exchange insurance information. Mine is engraved in these thousands of bullets. <laughs> Have you played Front Mission 4? She doesn't have to move anywhere. I haven't tried 4 yet. Um, the the big gimmick in that game is that you create links between pilots so that they attack uh, simultaneously. Oh yeah, kind of a Fire Emblem deal? Um, well, it's like this. Say if we could establish a link between Kazuki and Ryogo, if they have enough AP and they're both in range of an enemy, they'll both attack at the same time, and vice versa. So you, uh, so you can really, like, up your amount of attacks per round. Double the Dennis. Yes. There we go. Finish him. Welcome to the team. Yes. Nah, no. Dennis is doing well. Mm -hmm. I suppose one of the things to his detriment is that he doesn't have any, uh, single tick combat skills right now, so he can't cram as many of them into a chip. Yeah. I get the. F We're still early game. I feel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this game is really fucking long. Yeah, I get that vibe pretty strongly. Uh, wait, you have anti-piercing armor, and you're a punch bot. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, get right up in his face. Level C shotgun. <clears throat> Alright, so you are shotgunner. Oh yeah, four did have a limited ammo for for normal weapons. Let's 
So, plot recap for any not previously engaged. We are still in the middle of Operation Noodle Around in Taiwan, with the eventual goal of getting to mainland China in order to locate the uh, scientists that have been abducted. Maybe uh, prevent uh, the all-powerful uh, yeah, uh, gold help, weapon from being used again. Help mankind, not destroy, etc. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe if we get around to it. Uh, who knows? I get the feeling they're, they're going to drop some more enemies on us. This seems a little too easy. Oh, I got more, more AP for him. Right. Dennis, it's about time. Can we get a repeat of last night's show? Not quite. Probably should have had him shoot at the other one. This is this is anti-piercing, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Rifles in four can focus on uh, uh, specific targets. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there are repair back. Yeah, they, they added a lot of new features that make uh, the game. Uh, repair back backs make their way into the uh, remake of the original. You get an engineering mech in the uh, added UCS campaign. Oh, okay. Or USN, the, the, the American Mega State. Mm hmm. Freedom LLC. Surrender. Accepted. Um, hello, Han. Oops. Nice of you to join the party. Oh, I knew it. It um, is tough being popular. Ooh, there's, they've got a, uh, a helicopter. Ah, uh, that... Yeah, well, of all the things to spontaneously appear on a battlefield, helicopter makes a great deal of sense. Yes, but that, as we learned in this game so far, helicopter can be dangerous. Yes. And... <clears throat> Wait, there's a front mission 5? Uh, maybe. And Kazuki forced to eject. Take up arms! Wait, Rika, uh, I got Hang on, let me game fax this. Let's see if... We are in extreme peril. We are. We are. Oh, there's an English translation. What is it on? It's on PS2. Oh. Yeah, he was ejected and driven down to five health. Let's uh, pop you back in the saddle here. It was released in 2005? Alright, so new additions to the field. We have anti impact strongman. We have anti flame helicopter. Which really yeah, that, just gonna. That makes. That just makes gonna sense. bite the bullet and lob more mm -hmm. rockets at him anyway, because that's my best anti aircraft weapon. Pretty much, yeah, you want to get rid of him. And double tap it. Nice! Assuming we hit. Yeah, fuck your air support. Yeah. And double experience on both of them? Looking at the helicopter now, I think the idea even was wow. that, yeah, that that helicopter was equipped to carry robots and dropped him onto the field. Which is nice conservation of detail. I like that. You're right, you're right. Front Mission 4 is Three Kings with mechs, but that's why it was great. <clears throat> Alright, we should definitely... I've learned from the time we fought Jose that named characters are high-priority targets for murder. Dennis, yes. fuck him up. <clears throat> Alright. So we got you crippled. And I would enjoy taking you down a notch. However, I kind of should give Han his due a little bit. Mm. Decisions. Does he have any skills? Uh, let's let's take a look at him. What do you got? Uh, he's got some modules on him. Uh, during a Chongyade Zero. B skill and shotguns. Uh, no battle skills. Nothing special. Okay. Whew, so... Oh, that's also the anti-piercing dude, so someone else can finish him off. Ryogo. Make some magic. Uh, what... Alright, 
right, so... Yeah, we are, we are on the Emma route, as you could tell. Which is funny, because we kept saying, oh, we're gonna have a choice soon, we're gonna have a choice soon. We didn't know that we had done the choice The choice unwittingly. just sneaks up on you, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the fear. Yeah, we, we can take a shotgun. Just need to. I, I mean, we, when you yes! do that, triumph. Tackle, tackle. Oh wow! Triumph. Perfect. Got it in one. I'm glad that I finally played a front mission game where melee actually counts. <laughs> My promotion. Oh, ouch. Good. Thankfully, the enemy is spreading out their attention, so... Everybody gets their share. Careful, Ryoko. Y'all in danger mode. Oh, boy. <clears throat> yeah, we got this, though. No, yeah, I, I, think we're, I think we're okay. Victory largely secure. Alright, so everybody... Pick their partner. Uh, Definitely, you could shotgun that guy and kill him, snipe him before he gets a chance to. Uh, Dennis, uh, tribute. Good, good hustle, Dennis. Uh, yeah, definitely shotgun you out of my way. Ideally, from maybe a bit of a distance. At, yeah, at least so we can't counterattack. Uh, trundle over to. That's really roundabout, Gizmolda. <laughs> I can't just stomp down this pile of vegetation. No, we can't. Alright. Lay him down. Wow, oh, I may... I... I may have to, uh, pick up... Uh, Front Mission 5. And stream it. Oh boy. Danger zone. Is and and you say um, and there is a translation. Let me look this up. Yes, there is. Mm. Well, Ryogo may be getting his shit paved in this round. Um, you know that's not one really four, one in four I chance. Turn of the dice. Yeah, he's fine. I feel like when I when I got into the tough part of this game, uh, an arm. uh. I feel like when you get into the tough part of this game, I feel like Ryogo is usually the first to die. Hmm. Plausible. I would believe that Ryogo is the glass cannon. Yeah, zoom in, Dennis. Make sure you get this nice and scoped. Mm-hmm. Just in case. Surrender consideration. Yes! Well, in that case, let's just... Uh... Yeah, Ryogo is struggling with the difficulty curve. Yes, the difficult. So, uh, if you walk up and melee that guy, you could potentially... You have like a 1 in 4 chance of getting... Of, uh... Yeah, let's just collect the robot. Oh, okay, yeah. You it's could do nice that. Nice and too. even. All right, that one won't be so bad. Silver medal. And now I had the, all the enemies actually attacked at once. Yeah, we have a Tiandong. Oh, that I think has something in. Tiandong three. Tackle two. Nice. Also, eject punch. Nice. Also, avoid twenty, which I don't think would be great. Oh boy, we're gonna meet with the ambassador and inform him that we are now at war. <laughs> so, uh, we should, uh, we, we should... Um, diplomatic immunity punch! 
Oh, I thought he was talking to Elisa right now. I'm like, where is she? No, she's not here. Uh, I think we should uh, switch our, our parts right yeah, now. Yeah, it definitely sounds like that's a Kazuki machine through and through. Well, I have to disassemble it first. So we want the arm and the body, I believe. Mm -hmm. Break you up into component molecules. We also do need to rename the mechs. It is time to open the floor to mech yes. renaming. Oh my god, I just realized, I think Tackle does damage equal to the mech's weight. Delicious! But wait, then there would be no point of having... Uh, Tiandong body reduced, reduced health and power versus my. Ooh, that's that's considerable less. Mm -hmm. The arms are nice though. Forty health and a little bit heavier. That I can afford definitely. Put and it a on his. Lighter. Put it on his melee. Yes. Only on only on the melee. Yeah, that'll do it. Just give him the one punch and glove. It's it's nice and beefy too. Oh, okay. Rico says that the melee bonus is the gap between the mech's power and its weight. Mm -hmm. Lightweight the, mechs, good for punching. The secret to creating the ultimate good melee character. Gun. Yes, they benefit from not being weighed down with superfluous equipment. Hmm. Hmm. Well, other than that, I don't think we, uh, what so, the other parts, eject punch, and what else? Uh, the body is tackle two. Uh, uh, da uh, avoid 20 is, is the legs. Hmm. Maybe that would be useful? I don't know. I'm just contemplating the body. It, yeah, we don't have the weight budget for it right now. We can, so, we can shelf it for the moment. So, do we still have the HP upgrades, then? We should. Uh, let me just pop the upgrade store. So you claim. Yeah, Rico, I feel like we found out the opposite last time, but I... Upgrades. Good machine. Like, it would make sense if they were only on the parts. Right. There, there is room for a health upgrade on that arm. However, the level one accuracy module is still there. So maybe it's just some parts carry over, but others don't. That's weird. The mysteries of the dance. Yeah. Well, we still want the extra HP. Yes. And it's not a high price. It's you know, hundred bucks. No, it's not. Oh, if it's captured, it may have pre-bought upgrades. That may be why. Hmm. So when we when we buy completely when we buy shiny new stuff, it'll probably be completely un. -upgraded. Someday when we find another shop. Oh, it'll happen. And then the and then the tuning stream will happen, mm -hmm. where we spend three hours. We still have not used a grenade launcher. Yes. We will definitely need to give every type of equipment a chance to do its thing. Yes. We they are available, but we did we could not incorporate them due to uh, weight constrictions. Mm -hmm. Someday. Although I feel like I think missiles may be a bit more useful, at least for this. I don't see a whole lot of enemies grouping together. Yeah, we haven't seen many situations where crowd control is high priority. There may it, there may be like certain missions where where it's like okay maybe we should switch out our uh, switch out our missiles for grenades. Oh, we're just gonna go into town and take a look around. Just meet the ambassador at the bar. Oh God, is there a shop here? Is it time? No, I thought Luke no, no, was already. Only, in... There's one option on this map. Why did you give me a map? We can't go anywhere. There's <laughs> nowhere to go. Just bar. The illusion of choice. 
We are going to the bar. <laughs> hey. <laughs> man in brown. Crazy man. <laughs> Hi there, I'm crazy man. Hi, crazy man. The war economy. What do you think, crazy man? <laughs> That guy. We need to go talk to the police. Hmm. To the internet! To the internet. <laughs> Hold on, Mr. Ambassador. I have to report a crime. <laughs> I don't remember. I Like, fuck if I remember which guy it was. Oh, Rio go has mail. Definitely feel like that was one of them. Oh, really? Hello, new password. D8Z. Okay, so H equals 8, but that only works for the DHZ, I think, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's another application for that rule. Probably not. Let me just add this to the pile of post-it notes sitting around my desk with old <laughs> passwords on them. Alright, DHZ public safety website. Strange man, we don't know. Yeah, we've never seen that guy, have we? I've always thought of you like a son. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> oh wait, someone informs me there's a thing we could have collected from Japan's foreign affairs website. <laughs> there is wallpaper to be solved. Also, crap. Oh no. Right. First, let us. We can't. We don't. We can't report our crime <laughs> yet. Apparently, we're not allowed to report our crime right now. We'll have to do it later. Pass another event flag or something. Is that not a guy? Is that not one of them? Maybe might, it was it. Might need to hmm. talk to him twice. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay, so Japan government <sighs> Ministry of Foreign Affairs was it? Some of the news is now up to date on uh, mm. that explosion resulted in uh, <laughs> consequences. Wait, so, how much of the the DHZ wasn't really affected by the explosion, right? They withdrew and then. Well, they they withdrew the other forces that were active in the area after that navy exploded. Right, but the Philippines is the one who took that took all the damage. Yes. Interesting. Give me the up-to-date overseas danger report. Oh, there might be a recall on tourism to the Philippines, you think? Right, I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've read all of that already, Africa. Well, Zafra, after, is, what? Zafra is safe and peaceful and so forth. Please don't go there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a fleet got Midas. Uh, we'll see you financial aid. Yeah, Kiono, uh, uh, Midas was stolen and used on the Philippines fleet. Uh, oh no, the economy is under threat because of the cost of defending. <laughs> I wonder if I can find the cutscene, uh...
Yep, destruction of Batangus. Here you go! So yeah, a bunch of these websites actually update in response to event. That's... So there's huge amounts of combinations of stuff that can occur. So much internet text! Oh, the, the the OCU are blaming the Chinese for blowing up the city. <laughs> Slide dogs. And people have noticed us stomping around Taiwan. <laughs> Good. <laughs> What's the schedule of diplomatic activity? Alright, let's continue fishing. Diplomat column, bulletin... Something we already looked at, I think. Yeah, that's largely the same shit. Yeah, that Midas explosion did look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this month, Mongolia. <laughs> Mongolia is quite peaceful. Lord. <laughs> I, I hope we somehow end up stomping around there. <laughs> we had better rampage across Mongolia. <laughs> we're, at, we're going everywhere else. Hmm. Yeah, less than six months. Yeah, the whole the like whole Midas that. thing happened pretty quickly. It got it, you know we we were we were tracking it down and then it kind of got away from us and then all of a sudden it. Uh... Oh wait. Oh, that's right. We were we were closing in on it, and they were like, and while the DHZ was attacking, they were like, "We're not going to let this happen. Deploy the Midas." Yeah, we're not going to let you get your hands on this. So, as a last fuck you, they launched the bomb. <laughs> Traveling to Ghana in three nights. What kind of immunization do I need? Oh no, this there's some kind of advanced future Ebola that deserves a suffix. Ebola Zare. Ebola Zare. Hang on, I'm I'm gonna Google that and see if it's actually a is thing. that a real is that a real strain of Ebola? Oh God, it is. Tell everyone about at home about Ebola, there. Okay, so <sighs> remember to get immunized for malaria before traveling. <clears throat> Ebola virus is the sole member of the Zare Ebola virus species and the most dangerous of the known Ebola disease-causing viruses, as well as being responsible for the largest number of outbreaks. Uh. So that, that's everything that was on the JDF side, or the, the JMF. The UMF. Are we, uh, are we sure about this wallpaper? <laughs> I mean, we learned about Ebola. <laughs> that's good and all, but Where's the wallpaper? <laughs> All right. Ebola Zare outbreaks. Okay, the, uh, the bullet can change. Over Seems time. to be a problem in the Congo. May have been a window of opportunity for that. Let's let's go talk to that man again to confirm that he is indeed our suspicious individual. We must stop this crime. Crazy man. <clears throat> How many did we kill today? It's been a hell of a day! Yeah, I feel like it was at least eight or ten. Well, the, uh, the the thing I used to look up, I just looked up the Wikipedia article on Ebola and uh, Control nope, F still Zare. Nothing. Maybe mistaken identity. Now, oh, well, we'll keep an eye out.
Maybe mistaken identity, maybe event flag. Or maybe it's just not one of those guys. Mm -hmm. Maybe we were wrong. Maybe crazy guy is just a crazy guy. How many people will die today, man in brown suit? Ambassador <laughs> Clay. Just, you're only introducing yourself by your first name when you are a federal agent meeting an ambassador? Just, yeah, it's Dennis. Sup? Let me take you out to the shed. The diplomacy shed. Alright, we can... <laughs> the diplomacy shed. <laughs> Just hang this U.S. Embassy Shut tag off. in the window and <laughs> anything that happens here is legal. I thought he was already in the DHC. Well, apparently he only managed to get to here and still hasn't transferred over to the mainland. So, we knew he was going to go there, but... I feel like there's... A, I'm missing something here. We're here now, <laughs> and he is here now, and... Maybe okay. we're gonna get him! Surely nothing will go wrong and convolute mm. this plot further. Thank you for letting us borrow this shack, Ambassador. Do our robots get a shack, too? Yeah, do we have the robot-sized shed out back? Do we just keep them on the lawn and throw a tarp over the robots? <laughs> yes, Ryogo, we are terrified of combat, which we have done 30 times before. Remember all those police you killed, Ryogo? <laughs> Lukov would probably be the best pilot we fought this thus far. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> that was great. Not <laughs> I disagree. Yeah, drop the save here. Alright, let's hit the town. Is there a shop? Let's see. Now we have choices. We oh, have yeah. shack, we have bar, and we have store. Oh no. Well, let, let's let's get it over with. <laughs> 